Hello friends and welcome back to the channel for war number 8 of season 51. We have an important matchup today against GT40. As I kind of predicted in the previous video, losing to SGA opened up GT40 because they jumped us in the rankings. So really, really big war today. Team today, Chioth along with the Hulk synergy for some extra cleanses and then Nimrod as well. Let's jump right in. Starting off today on path 9, we have a Void on node 9. And if you could think to yourself for a second, what is the worst mistake you can make against a Void in Alliance War? And uh, if you said to yourself just now, accidentally leaving on the Ouchie Masteries, well, you would be right, because that's exactly what I did here. So you can see just how quickly my health is ticking down here. Uh, and I notice it pretty early on, realize my mistake. And so I basically just kind of have to go as fast as I can, right? I do have the cleanses, which are going to stop his natural debuffs. And the bleed debuff is about to fall off here. But you can see uh, we lost over half of our health there in about 20 seconds. A very, very dangerous uh, mistake. Thankfully, it didn't cost me. All right, next up, we have a rank 3 Weapon X on node 18. I originally had Death Strike penciled in here for myself and then kind of switched it up at the last minute uh, to Nimrod just for some uh, extra tankiness. So at the start of the fight here, we're just going to be parrying a lot until the incinerate phase wears off. This will let us build up our protocol charges. Notice I started with an advanced power boost just to get up to our special two more quickly. Now that the poison phase has started, we can go in on the attack. The problem here is that I push him to a bar of power before he can activate Berserk. And now he's sitting at 24 charges. So I just go ahead and YOLO launch the special two. I still get full shocks because it's unblockable. Uh, but now we're kind of cornered here. So uh, I am stuck once again in incinerate phase. So at this point, I'm kind of like panic throwing special twos uh, and then just, you know, hoping, which is not a really good strategy to use against Weapon X. So now we've kind of recovered here. We're back in poison phase. We've got a bunch of incinerates on us, ticking us down. But at this point, I feel pretty confident that I can get through uh, the rest of this fight without dying. So really, really dangerous fight, even with a bleed immune, a tanky character. Weapon X just so, so dangerous and uh, lucky to get out of there with a solo, I think. All right, up in Section 2, we are again on Path 9. We have an Ebony Maw here on Hazard Shift. Couldn't go in here with Chilth. Healed up. Very expensive war for me in terms of potions. Uh, this is a, a standard fight here. Uh, nothing going on with the nodes. It's just, you know, the danger of Hazard Shift. So you assume at some point that you're going to take a bunch of degen from Maw because you don't really have any protection uh, from those special ones from him. Uh, but it's fine. Uh, because the, the degen is not going to be what kills you. Right there, I thought he was going to dash into me, so I just launched the special one into nowhere. Uh, so take a combo there, that's unfortunate. And uh, the good part is that uh, that allowed his fury to expire, so we aren't taking the degen just yet, until I think right now is when he launches the next one. Yeah, so here's a degen, going to heavy counter it. Heavy countering his special one, very, very easy with Chiyo. If you don't have to manage your spacing as well as you do with other champs when you want to do that, just because her heavy has such... Uh, good distance. And then from here the fight is basically over. We're not going to take any more degen. We are knocking him down consistently so he's never going to trigger the falter. And then we are heavy countering which is refreshing our bleed. So really really easy fight uh, when all is said and done. Last fight of the war for me is a uh, Jessica Jones on hazard shift. Also has one eye open. So very important in this fight to get the clarity tactic up. Uh, so you basically just have to tank the one eye open damage at the start. So I'm parrying, light, light, and then following up with a special one to add some uh, hits to our combo meter. And then from here, again, parry, light, light, and uh, the, the little bit of damage that we're taking is acceptable here. Once we get clarity up, the fight is going to be pretty much over uh, because we'll have the cleanses for the hazard shift debuffs and then also to stop her investigation. So you can see we are taking uh, a bunch of damage. Uh, because debuffs are sneaking through as our, we you know, we're waiting for our cleanses to refresh, but it's fine. You know, this is only a six-star Jess, and we have a rank three shield, so we have quite a bit of health and are are in in very little danger uh, of dying here. Going to uh, punish this special one, follow it up with a special one of our own after the striker here, and uh, the fight is basically over at this point. We've got the grit up, so she activates her unstoppable. It doesn't matter, and there we go. Alright, quick war for me. Uh, unfortunately, we did not come away with the win. Uh, shout out to GT40. Four kills for me, zero deaths, and her record falls to 6-2 and two on the season. Uh, I feel like this is going to have a kind of a... Losing to SGA, rather, is kind of going to have a, a cascading effect on our matchmaking. Uh, we're almost certainly going to get Nefty next. 
uh, and then probably LVT after that, who we've been avoiding for like a season and a half now. But if, if LVT pulls ahead of us in the rankings, uh, that's going to tell the matchmaker that we're an optimal matchup for them based on uh, war rating. So I'm almost certain we'll get them uh, probably in war 10, I would guess. So we'll see what happens with that and the rest of the season. Folks, if you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.